Hi, I'm John Scorciati. I'm with the Coastal and Resilience Branch at Dewberry in Fairfax, Virginia. And today I'd like to talk about what is hazard mitigation. Very simply put, hazard mitigation are measures or actions that we take to reduce or eliminate the threat of disasters um, hurting people or causing damage to their property. Um, these types of hazards could include floods, earthquakes, hurricanes, or even wildfire. There are two basic types of mitigation measures. There are structural mitigation measures like we see here. Those could uh, be anything we do that we construct to protect uh, homes or businesses. Could be from uh, putting a flood wall around a hospital, um, elevating a building to protect it from flooding, or putting braces on a, a building to protect it and reduce damages during an earthquake event. On the other side, we also have non-structural mitigations like we see here. These are things that don't involve building but still provide protection. This could be things like acquiring flood-prone properties so that nobody builds there and keeps anybody from getting hurt in the flood, um, having setbacks to reduce the level of development in a floodplain, or it could even be public outreach campaigns, things like um, drop cover and hold in an earthquake or turn around, don't drown during a flood. And that explains what hazard mitigation is all about. On behalf of Dewberry Explains, I hope you enjoyed this session.